Bienvenue and welcome to 150 Days of Winter. Hello! Seven screws, one plate. Oh, mesdames and messieurs, mesdames and messieurs, bienvenue and welcome to 150 Days of Winter. If you're new to this channel, my name is Alex. And today is July the 5th and the lifts in Courchevel are now open. As you can see, we're social distancing at the top of the Salir. I think there's someone about 500 meters over in that direction. So, you know what? I think I'm going to be okay. But no fear, I do have my mask with me as well. I'm trying to be sensible. Anyway, the summer has officially started and you know what, if you're tired of being cooped up and you want a holiday, what better place to come and stay than the French Alps? Fresh air, open spaces, lots of activities to do, what more could you ask for? But enough about that really. Uh, this isn't an advert for the tourist office of Courchevel. But as summer is about to start, we should look at a few things that Courchevel is doing at the moment, and I will give you my honest opinions about them, as I always do. So without further ado, let's go. Whew. So here we are at the top of the Col de la Lose as you can probably see behind me, this is where the uh, Tour de France is uh, finishing on at the end of September. So if you ever want to come and watch a, a stage of the Tour de France, Maribel, end of September, well worth it. But more seriously, if you are a regular viewer, back in October 2018, I made a, uh, I made a little remark about how the tarmac road that comes up from Maribel and Courchevel um, pouring a load of bitumen and tar over the mountain maybe isn't the most ecological thing and whether that weighs up with like the ecology of it with the benefits to tourism uh, whether one outweighs the other well two years later Courchevel and Maribel have done it again. This time they are digging a massive new reservoir or artificial lake at the top of Col de la Lose, which will eventually feed snow cannons that I think will feed the 2023 World Championships plus the mountain afterwards. Now, you might say, well, you know, the mountain needs more snow cannons, blah, blah, blah. But when you see the damage that they're doing to the mountains, that they're turning what is a wildlife for many into what looks like a like moonscape apocalypse, I guess <laughs> the only way of putting it. Um, and that, you know, can you, can you weigh up the pros and the cons? Uh, certainly at the moment, it looks more con than pro. But again, that's just my opinion. Of course, if you, if, if you have anything to say, and I'm sure people will leave a comment in the, uh, down below because, yeah. Um, yeah, if, if in the name of tourism that, uh, everybody starts destroying the mountain as they are, well, sooner or later, there isn't going to be a mountain left. Again, just my opinion. Anyway, enough with the negativity. Let's go and look what else Courchevel is doing. So back in 1850, as you can see behind me, they are going full at it at the bottom of the Stade de Slalom. If you remember last year, they started work reprofiling the slope thanks to a very kind donation by Mr. Ineos. Of course, if that uh, name is familiar, um, as well as paying for this, he's also gone and bought the Sky uh, cycling team, which will be doing the Tour de France. And I think he also sponsors the uh, air duct of the Mercedes Formula One car. 
as well as many other things. Too many for me to mention. Anyway, as you can see, they are going full at it. And actually, thanks to the lockdown, they were able to start work much earlier than if the resort had closed originally, which I guess is a good thing. Anyway, at the bottom, they are building another car park. I guess that's going to be for service vehicles only. And higher on, through this like, good, like massive gorge that they're digging, they are building a proper like hospitality stroke service building at the bottom of the stad, which will be accessible by a tunnel through this gorge that they're cutting. So, yeah. Yeah, they're making a lot of mess, but if they keep up like this, it should be ready for the Women's World Cup in December, which is always a good thing. So there you go. Thank you, Mr. Ineos. So there you have it. That's the, that's the major work that Korshville is doing this summer. As always, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support the channel, give that subscribe button a click. Leave me a comment down below and click the like button. And on that, I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.